Millions of people fly every day. Whether it's for a business trip or a family vacation, some people say if you're not flying for free, you may be missing out. And your ticket to a free trip is frequent flyer miles. There's no reason that everybody shouldn't be doing this. You know, if you're going on vacation anywhere, you're already paying to stay there. Why not get the rewards for it? Adrian Jacoby is a frequent flyer who splits her time between Boston, LA, and Tokyo. But she says you don't have to be a world traveler to rack up the flyer miles. Jacoby says the first step is signing up for frequent flyer programs. I would say create an account for every every airline across the board. You can also earn miles for car rentals, hotel stays, and filling out online surveys. It's like having a penny jar, take them all and put them in there, and at the end of the day, it really adds up to something that you can really do something with. Then find the best ways to maximize your points by capitalizing on money you're already spending. If you're gonna have a credit card anyways, the annual fee is minimal compared to the rewards that you get after spending a small amount of money that you would be charging on a different card anyways. A lot of credit cards will waive the first year's annual fee and give you enough miles for a free round trip flight just for signing up. Then you can get perks like free check bags and priority boarding. I think that would be great. I would absolutely accept any frequent flyer miles that came my way and I would certainly book a trip immediately. Jacoby says if you have a few minutes online, check out forums like MilePoint and Flyer Talk. There are people that, you know, as bloggers pay attention, this is all that they do, to every special that every airline is coming up with all the time and they're constantly posting that. If you fly with the same airline throughout the year, you can be rewarded for your loyalty by earning elite status. One of the perks is you can get bonus points for the number of segments you fly in addition to airline miles. Once you hit a tier of having status with an airline, you start to get all these benefits right away. It's been an opportunity for my wife and myself to go on vacations that, uh, you know, otherwise we may not have been able to go on. Jacoby says once you get the hang of it, you can use miles for upgrades, lounge access and other perks. There's so many hidden, I think, frequent flyer miles out there floating around that people aren't reaching out and grabbing. It's kind of like Super Mario Brothers. Just reach up and grab them. You just got to know that they're there. Alicia Palumbo, NECN.